Well, there's times like this when the world can be a hard and lonely place And it can seem like we'll never turn the tide But times will change and then we'll see a smile back on your face And before you know it, we'll be out there Frank, on the side. Uh... I notice Carmen's not with us today, and of course that's obviously the obvious reason is that because we've uh, been able to include Willie. But uh, you know what's been actually happening at uh, the Tathra Beachside Park in the last ten days, two weeks. Well, Carmen and all the team at the Tathra Beachside have been obviously busy, very busy, and they're busier than normal over this period now because they we're all dealing with the implications and the repercussions yeah. of the lockdown in Victoria, uh, yeah. where uh, we've had to do a lot of cancellations of bookings and um, move bookings to later periods in the year, et cetera, uh, give refunds where people would prefer that. Uh, and we've had all the Victorians um, heading back, uh, gradually yeah. heading back to Victoria. So yeah. it's, it's a very difficult time for particularly places like Tathra and Marimbula, which are not far over the border. We're only about 45 minutes or an hour from the Victorian border here. Yeah. And so it's been a challenging time. So Carmen is very, very busy, mate. Uh, dealing with all of that. So yeah. uh, that's, she sends her apologies, can't be with you. Yeah. But look, people have been great, John. It's a challenging yeah. time for everyone, particularly yeah. people who have come away for a holiday. And we know, and you know, how valuable holiday time is. It's probably more valuable now than it's ever been because yeah. of the way we live and everybody's stuck on their tablets and their phones, mum and dad uh, both working. And, and so to get away with the family and have quality time is even more important for individual families and for, I think, our whole society. Yeah. So, of course, the disappointment um, that is around now about people either not being able to go away on holidays or having their holidays cut short, yeah. the disappointment is, is palpable. But I can tell you that everybody, I won't say everybody, I'll say 99% uh, of people handle the challenges really, really well and just want what's best for all of us in, yeah. in our Australia-wide community. So it is a difficult time, but if you're watching this and you're in New South Wales, uh, you have no issues. Come down to Tathra uh, and uh, the Sapphire Coast and enjoy all that we've got to offer down here. Yeah. Frank, could I just add to that a little bit? Because we had one of our staff on, uh, what are we today, Friday, uh, on last uh, Tuesday, they crossed the border out of Victoria. They were in their caravan, they were heading off for a couple of, well, they're going for three weeks up into New South, northern New South Wales. Uh, mm -hmm. They got to Dubbo, uh, which is the day after we got locked down. And because they had been in Victoria, they were actually turned around and, uh, and sent back home. Otherwise, they'd have to stay in their caravan for the 14 days or whatever was left to get to the 14 days. So uh, yeah. if you're in Victoria, don't think that you can just, you know, even if you can get across the border, don't think you can go there and people will accept you because uh, if you've come from Victoria and you've been in Victoria over the last 14 days, well, they won't allow you to just move around freely. And I can understand that. We, we as yep. Victorians, we do understand that it's a very dangerous virus and we just want to control it and contain it as best as we can. Absolutely. And because what's happened down there, mate, it, it can happen anywhere. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's... Uh, it, it's so we all have to be very, very vigilant and do the right thing for over the next, um, you know, foreseeable future yeah. and try and get on top of this uh, dreadful thing, but which we will do and we'll all come out on the other side. Okay, well, um, I hope you've enjoyed this, this episode of On the Other Side. It's been great fun catching up with you, Willie, and of course, always good to see you, John, and what m wonderful memories uh, you've had, Willie, of uh, your trip up the North Coast. And maybe you can come back and... Um, fill us in with some more next week. Uh, yes, yes, Frank. I have very much enjoyed this episode. And uh, John, always a pleasure to talk with you. And uh, I know that Prestige Jaco is um, just, you, you're like a family down there. Yes. Frankie, my old mate, see you next week on The Other Side. Out the other side, I'll see you out the other side. Just remember all bad things must pass. The other side, we'll see you out the other side, and we'll kick this COVID 19 in the ass. <laughs>